Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set up Play Space Mover for Steam VR. By the way, this will not work if you're using Oculus. You could use Oculus with Steam VR, but you cannot use it with their, their own Oculus software. So first you're going to want to click on releases right here, and I'll have this link in the description of this video. So first you want to click this one, the 4.0.1 installer.exe. All right, it's downloaded. So you could go ahead and click it to open it. Click more info, run anyway. I already have it installed, so um, I'll just click OK. You just click I agree. I'll reinstall it. It might give me an error because I have Steam VR open already. OK, so that's installed. So now the part to get the play space mover to actually work because we first so what we just installed is advanced settings which has play space mover built in and also a bunch of other features as well but to get it to work with your controllers you're going to want to go to settings here you can click the hamburger menu on this steam vr window settings now you want to go over to controllers and the easiest way is just click show on advanced settings here then I'll say show old binding UI. And you could also do this in VR, but it might be easier to do it through your desktop. So once you have this open, you want to scroll down to the bottom and find advanced settings. Now for me, I have the index controllers, but let's say if I want to do um, set up for like an Oculus. It should autom automatically be set up already. Um, I did share my own binding from last year, which you guys could download if you guys see it under the community bindings. If you guys don't see it under that, sometimes it won't automatically assign a binding. So you just want to click any community binding. So let's say, let's try this one here. View. You could click edit this binding move this window out of the way or we could just minimize it for now um okay so with this binding the play space mover is set to the a button and it's as a button and it's click so if you want to move your play space you would just click and you would hold a and you just move your controller around to move around your play space but let's say if you wanted it as a toggle button you would just click this little pencil icon and you just change that to a toggle button and you'd have it under click but I think the best is to keep it as a button so you press and hold it to move the controller um, if you wanted to set it to another button all you would have to do is let's say for a B button just click a plus here button click none um, right hand space drag space right hand space drag is the play space mover and you just click plus save personal binding save and that's about it and for the vibe to get it to work with the vibe because I don't think it automatically se selects the binding for it you just click vibe controller which it should automatically select it if you're already using the vibe have an index so I have to manually select the Vive one so you would just click edit or you could just select any random one just so you could get the binding page to open up and um, you would just want to look at your buttons here pick which button you want for the play space drag which when I had a Vive I had it as um, let's see here I had it as the menu button up here so I'd press and hold it to move the play space but if you wanted it as another button like the steam button which I wouldn't recommend because you know when you press that it's gonna open up the steam menu so I'd probably just leave it as the menu button but if none of this was here I'll delete all this let's say if it's not working at all and it's all completely blank to freshly install it you just click plus button and under click right here there's also other options so you could double click it to get it to actuate 
but um let's just do it as a single for now select right hand space drag plus save personal binding and should automatically apply it to your current binding let me go back really quick for the index controller you could select a personal binding or a community binding sorry or you could create your own which to create your own you just edit the current one that's selected and again if it's not selected automatically you just go down to community and select any random one and click view edit and you would just add the button as i showed you on the oculus and the vive controllers it'll apply to the index as well you just want to select the current button you want for it now now that we have the binding set what you're gonna what you're gonna want to do now is you're gonna want to open up the advanced settings uh what do you call it settings there's like a little circle that's added in the steam vr dashboard and you're gonna want to enable space drag and i could go ahead and show you that i'll have to click display vr view and i'm gonna toss my headset on really quick and also grab my index controllers and i will go ahead and show you this here okay I have my index controllers on and I got my headset on so I'll go ahead and show you you can see how it adds an advanced settings circle settings little button and you press that now you go to I believe it was motion yeah motion and by default these will be turned off um, I would suggest turning both of them on let's say if you're only gonna use left hand I'd still turn on right hand because whenever you decide to add space drag on the right hand well if you ever want to um you won't be scratching your head on why it's not working so i would definitely enable these two right away and there's also a, a lot of other options here like gravity so like when you lift yourself up i could probably show you here yeah never mind i'll have my gravity setting set up but um you can just manipulate how quick you fall back down to your floor and you could also set up a key bind so you could toggle let's say both triggers and clicking both touchpads and it would ena enable or disable gravity settings but um if you guys want me to show you guys how to do that i can make another video for that as well as many other features mm -hmm. on advanced settings but for now i'm gonna just stick with the play space mover for this video mm -hmm. but that's about it mm -hmm. so I just go through this one more time. You just want to go show old binding UI, show more applications, advanced settings, and you just want to set up your key bind. So your play space mover is on the button that you want. And again, after you do that, go back to advanced settings, motion, and enable space drag for left and right hand and mm. after that it should all work fine i could show you how it works here i'll have to reset my headset because i installed advanced settings while it was running so advanced settings will be turned off for a bit Okay. So for me, I have my key bind. So I pull the left trigger and then I touch the touchpad. And you could see how I could lift myself up and I actually do have gravity on. So for gravity toggle, I believe I rest my thumbs on both B and A button and press both triggers. Yeah, it turns it on or it off. So I could rest them on both buttons touch both triggers and then it activates it but yeah 
that's it for the play space mover setup if you guys have any questions let me know i could walk you through it i'll leave my discord in the description so i could help you guys if you guys need help setting it up but it's fairly easy um it's not rocket science so yeah thanks for watching this video be sure to like and subscribe and i'll be sure to make other vr related videos thanks